everyone, welcome back to The Daily Edit and today I'm going to talk you through my top 10 summer wardrobe investments because I realised I've done this for winter but I hadn't done it for summer. So this is the moment I really hope I've got that right. <laughs> I'll do another quick search before I put this video live but I'm pretty sure I haven't done the summer version of this video so I will link the winter version of this video here for my southern hemisphere friends. <laughs> but if you're interested to hear what pieces I've purchased over the years that I just think have been brilliant investments for hot weather dressing then keep on watching. I'd normally love to do some outfit cutaways for this kind of video so I can show you some styling options like how I wear it, different things I wear it with. However sadly quite a few of these things aren't available for me to wear right now. So instead I'm going to stick some photos on the screen, give you some ideas as to how I usually wear them and next summer I really look forward to being hopefully reunited. But let's kick it off in no particular order. Number one we have the Lock Ara sandals. I'm not sure they make these anymore, the brand isn't available on Netaporte anymore but I have had a little search, I found them online and there are always amazing high street dupes for these. But it's basically a very strappy wrap around your ankle leather sandal. Um, there's a tiny heel on it, like one centimeter if that, it's not completely flat, but I get so much wear out of these sandals. I'd say they weren't the most comfortable things from the get-go, but I've had them for two years now, three years possibly. I've worn them in and they're now very comfortable to wear, they don't rub anywhere. And they're such a good summer dressing up shoe for when you don't wanna wear heels. Like, I'm not really a heel wearer unless it's a really fancy occasion. So these are perfect for holidays, evenings out. I just wear them all the time. They weren't cheap, but I feel like I've got my cost per wear down to a really good point with them and I just love them styled in so many different ways. Jeans for sort of transitional dressing and then also summer dresses for when I'm on holiday, when I'm here. I mean they might be my number one summer wardrobe purchase. Something a little bit more affordable but still in the same realm of footwear is the tether sandals which when Mark bought a pair I was like um, excuse me granddad, I do not like these. They're a lady boner killer for me. <laughs> and you know what? I've had to eat my words because I'm pretty sure the, the summer after I purchased my own pair and now all of our friends have them as well. Basically Mark was the trailblazer here. He was the trend starter and I totally see why a lot of people have them. Again, perfect for going away on holiday because they're very comfortable so you could wear them for like a day of walking around the city, you could wear them to the beach, but then I would also wear them out in the evening as well, like I don't care. <laughs> they're a very practical shoe, hence why Mark was the first one to have a pair, but I have got so much wear out of these. I think I've had them now for two summers? maybe three. Obviously great for my expanding feet currently and they're nice and cushioned on the bottom as well. I mean yeah I really enjoy styling these and I really enjoy wearing them. Let's move away from footwear and have a moment with some dresses. Now realization par dresses I really love. <laughs> for the longest time it was a real pain in the ass to get them in the UK but they now have a UK warehouse so delivery is really quick returning it is far easier than it used to be. And their pieces definitely aren't the most affordable, but I, I go back to them time and time again. The Iggy dress, the Iggy polka dot dress is possibly, well, I don't know, there is, there is obviously another favorite from them, but I say dress wise, the Iggy dress is what I get the most wear out of. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what size I have it in, but I'll write it in the description box down below for you just for a size reference. I am usually like a UK 10 to 12. And this dress, I wear so much normally <laughs> during the summer. It's so, it's such a lovely length. So quite often I'll wear it with a t-shirt or a shirt over the top and sort of wear it as more of a skirt or I just wear it on its own with like tether sandals, or I wear it with the Lock Aura sandals for more of like an evening look. Literally, as I'm saying these, I, I can remember instances where I've worn all of these outfits that I'm mentioning. I've also worn it to a wedding before. Like, it's just, it's such a good dress for just wearing down the beach, but then also wearing to a wedding. I mean, that is the type of thing you want in your wardrobe, something that is that versatile that you can wear to such a large spectrum of events. And I feel 
great. Whenever I wear this dress, it just makes me feel good. It's worth the money, in my opinion. Same goes for the Naomi Wild Things skirt. <laughs> I feel like if you're a regular viewer here, you probably would have known that I would have included this skirt before you even clicked on this video. <laughs> you saw the video title, you're like, okay, cool, she's talking about the leopard print skirt again. I would personally recommend going for the midi version over the mini version. I have actually sold the mini version. I sold it on my vestiaire because it was just too mini. And I love a mini skirt, but I just, I just wasn't getting the wear out of it. I love the midi because I do quite often roll it up like I used to at school and wear it as more of a mini skirt as well. I feel like you get a bit of a two in one. And actually in this style, um, the shape of it is really beautiful. It sort of like hugs the hips, comes in a little bit and then flows out a bit at the bottom. Um, I feel like that is just a more flattering fit on me than the mini personally was. So I would always recommend the midi, but it's, it's just gorgeous and I love the leopard print it's this kind of sheeny gold with black dots it's like the most perfect leopard print and i've had people come up to me i've had a couple i like i could count them on one hand but a couple of people have come up and been like excuse me where is that skirt from i love it i need it or they say oh my god that's the realization bar skirt do you recommend it i really want to buy it like a girl came up to me one time in the toilets and was like i love that skirt i see everyone wearing that skirt i think i need it do you love it and i was like I love it. It's And when I see people wearing it, I feel like I want to give a little nod. It might not be the most unique summer piece, but I have got a lot of wear out of it. Let's talk swimming costumes. Um, this summer, I've really loved the half-baked London. Um, I think I showed the bikini in a haul video. I'll link that there in the corner for you. And honestly, that bikini, it's the only piece of swimwear that fits me right now and I've worn it in the sea, and I felt great in it, and I absolutely loved it. But if we're talking non-maternity times, the solid and striped ribbed black swimming costume that I think I've had for two years, three years, is such a solid piece. I would just say a black swimming costume that you feel fabulous in is a great piece to have in your wardrobe. Like that is gonna be your best summer investment. So whatever fits you best, whatever you feel great in. You might need more support. You might want a slightly different fabric. You might not fancy the ribbed fabric. Um, I like it because it has some poppers down the front. So if I want a little bit of boobage, I could always pop open a couple of poppers, but if not, I close them. It's got nice coverage on the bum. It's not too like ass out, but there's a little bit of cheek. Just find what works for you and then just, just go with it. That's, that's the piece that you need. Such a brilliant purchase when you find the right one. It's a bit like finding the perfect pair of jeans. When you find your perfect swimming costume, makes you feel great. Or maybe it's a tankini, a bikini, whatever. Like to me, that is worth its weight in gold. Also brilliant for styling options. You can style it as a body, wear it with a beach cover up over the top. But for me, the perfect one is this. I'm not sure they sell it anymore, but if I can find any dupes, I'll link them down below for you. I've done a U-turn back to dresses because I remembered the Isabelle Moran Etoile. Oh, this dress, this dress. I saw Lucy Williams years ago wearing this dress with the Lock Ara sandals, made a mental note, saved the Instagram, and over the next couple of years, like made it my mission to basically buy that exact outfit because I just thought it was perfection. <laughs> and now I am the proud owner of both of those pieces. Thank you, Lucy, for the inspiration. Um, I love it. I adore this dress. Like. It, again, it's one of those pieces that you just feel fab in. It's my summer little black dress. It's a little linen number. It's got a bit of puff to the sleeves. It's got this wraparound moment. I really wish it fitted me right now. And because it's got a bit of drama, I feel like I would wear it to a summer wedding. Even though I know like wearing black at a wedding is a bit like of a faux pas, I feel like it's got enough sort of like zhuzh to it and a bit of playfulness to it that I think it is a fun piece to wear. And with the Lock Ara sandals, I mean, it's so great to have an LBD for the winter and then an LBD for the summer. And it, it's just nice to know that I've got something to wear that I feel fab in. I remember being in Italy with like Nas and there being this like huge event and me just being like, nope, it's fine. I've, I've got that dress. I know I'm going to wear it. I know I feel great in it. So maybe this dress isn't the one for you. You're not crazy about the silhouette. You don't like a mini dress, whatever, but just finding that black summer dress moment. It's a great moment to have. <laughs> okay, the next two are pretty obvious. So I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet, but basically Arquette Linen. <laughs> Arquette Linen, 
just just on the whole really but the Arquette linen trousers I have them in a beige and a black I also have the shorts I kind of put them as one like Arquette linen bottoms I also have the shorts in the black and the beige as well and then also the Arquette linen oversized shirts it's the oversized ones that I love I have that in a white, beige and black and I, I just love wearing them. They're actually one of the few things out of this list that currently still fit me right now. I've been wearing them a lot and I love, I love the matchy matchy. I just think the matchy matchy is a very, very chic look with either of the two shoes that I've mentioned here. I think they would both work perfectly, but I often mix and match between like the black and the beige, the white and the black, whatever as well. Um, they were a brilliant, brilliant purchase. They're a slightly newer purchase than other things that I've mentioned in this list, because I'm pretty sure I only picked them up last summer, which is wild because I feel like it's now all I wear is <laughs> basically my summer uniform. Um, so yeah, I will link everything that I own from Arquette Linen down in the description box for you. But for me, they are summer staples, like brilliant investments. I might have only had them for two summers, but I have worn them a hell of a lot. And also the with nothing underneath um, linen shirts as well. I feel like I have to give a little honorable mention to those. I've got my blue one, I've got my yellow one. You would have seen me wear them a lot and all the time they wash well they wear well and i love the oversized fit that they have so yeah linen <laughs> linen <laughs> in general <laughs> for my final two picks on the list we are going to accessories and number one a hat a hat is something that i just hadn't really invested in before i hadn't really spent a lot of time researching and trying to find the perfect one i'd occasionally go on holiday and be like i need a hat and then get some kind of straw trilby number off of ASOS and then probably squish it in my bag on the way home and it was a terrible waste of money and an extremely wasteful thing to do. However, times have changed. I have found the perfect holiday hat and I absolutely love it. I saw Brittany Bathgate in it when she went to Australia. We're talking like a year and a half ago and she just looked fabulous in it. And I was like, that is the exact hat that I want. It's from Avenue The Label. And it's just a really, floppy kind of oversized straw hat number but the thing that I love the most about it is that it has basically zero structure to it and you can fold it down like I have it folded down in my drawers and it, it's like this big so you don't have to worry about traveling with it and like keeping its shape or putting it in a hat box or something like that you can just kind of like fold it down it's got a wire rim in that in the trim bit of the outside of the hat and it means you can fold it up you can fold it down you can fold the sides up it's completely malleable it's so clever sadly i can't find it available to buy right now but if i can find something that's similar that has that ability to be smushed i will link it down below for you because it's really been such a game changer that i can like throw it in my bag or wear it out in the garden and like roll up the front if i want to see what's going on or I roll down the front if I don't want to see what's going on and I just want to have a quiet little nap moment. Um, so very important in terms of sun safety and just something that I hadn't really nailed before. But now I'm like, I found my hat, we're done. I'm happy with my hat. How many times can I say hat? And then finally, my most worn summer bag, which is the LM Raisin Raffia bag. Again, something that I saw in some of my favorite bloggers many moons ago did a bit of research found out about it and was like yes i need to have this in my life i think i've had this for three summers now possibly four that sounds crazy but for me it's my summertime loewe puzzle bag loewe puzzle bag for like the majority of the year like a solid nine months and then for those three months of actual heat i just love the lm raisin raffia bag it's perfect um i feel like i've gone on about it before i'll link a video here in the corner where i go through every single bag that i own and i show you what i fit inside like why i love it but i love the versatility of this bag number one it's got a catch on the top like a magnet closure so i feel like it's pretty good for safety and security which is handy and helpful i love that you can hold it just by the strap and just have it as a holdy bag or you've got the bigger strap that you can attach and have it as a crossbody or over your shoulder. It like sits up nicely as well. It's not super slouchy, stuff isn't gonna fall out of it. I can fit a water bottle in it. Like, I mean, I could just go on. I could just go on, but it, it goes with any 
summer outfit. It's got that brown kind of cognac leather and the raffia is really good quality. Like it looks brand new. It's not like bobbling or like coming apart or anything like that. I just think it was a very, very good investment for me to make personally and I have worn it a ton. So there you go. Those are my 10 best summer investments. I will link all of these down below for you. I will try and find dupes or just things that are available for you down below as well, if anything is particularly old and any notes on sizing as well, which might be helpful. But thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear what your best summer investments are. Are any of ours the same? How many did you guess out of 10? Probably like at least eight. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow for another daily edit. Thank you for watching. Bye.